if it's not either of those, if it's not the cancel switches and it's not the clock spring, then that's literally the only other thing that it could probably be that I can think of in my experience. What's up guys, Chris here for GQ37. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to discuss uh, some cruise control issues that are pretty common on these cars. I am no stranger to these. I have had nine VQ vehicles, three Zs, uh, a G35, two G37s, two FX35s, and my QX70 over there in the garage. So a couple things, I wanna jump right into it that can happen. Uh, with the cruise control, there's really there's really three things that it can be when your cruise control isn't working. So my issue with this car, I got it about six months ago. I've done a lot of things to it if you've been following the channel. It did not look like this when I first got it, but you can check those videos out uh, on the channel if you haven't seen those, but uh, the restoration. But uh, the cruise control would come on, the light would come on, but it would not set when I hit the button. Super annoying. Um, one of the common problems with this, and uh, what I thought it was, is the clock spring. It's very notorious for going out. Um, so the way you can kind of verify if it's the clock spring, which is a uh, sensor that goes behind your airbag that controls these. All right, whether you have an uh, older Z that doesn't have the volume control or not, they, they all have a clock spring, FX35, G35, FX37, G37, all the Nissan Infinity vehicles, Nissan Versa, Maxima, all, you know, Murano, all of them have a clock spring in here. So if your volume controls aren't working or they're working intermittently, maybe you can turn the volume up, but you can't turn it down. That's what was going on with mine. Or if it works when you turn the corner or something like that, or if the you can't turn the cruise control on at all, um, that, you know, then it's usually a clock spring. And so um, I'll put a, a link in the description. Uh, you can get that part a lot cheaper. Often, uh, you don't want to go to the dealership if you don't have to. So, um, carparts.com, you know, Rock Auto, places like that. You can get a you can get a um, a cheaper one that will work. So that was the first thing I did with this. I've had to do that in my FX35, my G35. So that's a common problem. Since my volume control wasn't working, I replaced that, and my volume control worked. All of a sudden, that worked. My cruise control was still doing the same thing. The light would come on, it would turn green, it would not set. So that was annoying. <laughs> I fixed this problem, but not that problem. So that wasn't the clock spring in my case. So then the obvious thing was that you have some spring cancel switches down um, for your brake pedal and your clutch pedal. If you have uh, automatic, you only have one button to worry about, and it is this brake cancel switch. I went ahead and took it out to show you what it looks like. And so this is the cancel switch, and both you have one on your clutch and your brake pedal. There's actually a few buttons down there, but this is the one that actually cancels the cruise control. So how it works, it's real simple to take out too. There's a little plug, and then it just twists in like clockwise and it locks in place. It has these adjustment teeth so you can slide it up and down. And how it works is when your brake is not being pushed, it's in the, you know, uh, up position, you know, when you're not pushing the brake, it is pushing against this button, the lever is. And then when you push the brake, it pushes it away from the button and that tells the cruise control to cancel so that when you're cruising, you hit the brake, your cruise control deactivates so you can slow down. So it always needs to be depressed or pushed in like this until you wanna cancel your cruise and then it lets go. Same thing with the clutch. The clutch one works the exact same way. It's always depressed until you hit the clutch, just barely, and then it opens up enough to cancel the cruise control. That's how these work. It's just a cancel switch, super simple. And I'll show you where it is. So here's the brake cancel switch. And here is, this is the brake pedal. So again, if you have an automatic, this is the only one you really have to worry about. And you see how when I push the brake, it releases. That tells it to cancel. The cruise control. These don't necessarily go, I mean, they can go bad, but it's very uncommon. I had this problem on my G37, and what it was is it had kind of come out of adjustment. Uh, it was too far away from the pedal somehow. It was also sticking, uh, which was the main issue. It would, it would just blink on my dash. Um, when I tried to set it. So I hit a little WD-40 on it. If it's getting sticky, you know, if it's not popping in and out very well, you can hit it with some WD-40. Um, the other thing is, like I said, they come out very easily. You just twist it uh, counterclockwise, and then you can pull it out. You can adjust it. It has these little teeth on it, so you can push it in. You just want it to be in 
to the point that it fully closes whenever the brake pedal is on it. So you see, it's there's nowhere for it to go, but when I push it, it releases. That's what you want. Now, the other, you have another button up here that has nothing to do with the cruise, as far as I could tell. And then you've got this clutch button here that also is not the cruise. That's something else. That's when you push the clutch all the way in, it, it touches. Um, but your, your, excuse me, your clutch cancel switch is here. And this was actually my issue. Uh, I remembered whenever I bought the car, the guy said um, that it, it didn't work. I mean, it worked until he had the clutch changed and then the cruise control didn't work anymore. And I had forgotten about that. Um, but it's, it's a weird thing. And if you can see that little round piece of plastic there, I put that in. It was missing. <laughs> so I fixed my cruise control issue for about two cents. Let me take it out and I'll show you. All right, so my issue with the cruise control, again, it just wouldn't sit. Now, if you can see that that hole there in my clutch lever, uh, that hole, it's hollowed out. Um, whenever they changed this clutch, they must have knocked out a piece of plastic that goes there. It's not supposed to be empty like that because as you can see, the cancel switch button, it goes right in that hole and therefore it never closes. And that's why my cruise control wouldn't set. It would turn on but it would not set. And so how I fixed that was with a little two cent piece of plastic. It's one of these little plastic fasteners, right? Um, you get them in a kit when, I, I have tons of these things for replacing the plastic fasteners under the hood and all the plastic trim. Well, this is just one of those that I put in that slot. If I put it through there, I have to do it off camera, I need both hands. So I just put that plastic fastener in that hole there. So now, the cruise control switch hits it. Now, I did have to adjust this as a 14 millimeter uh, nut. I had to adjust it a little bit because it wasn't reaching it. Um, and so, again, I don't know what kind of plastic was in there. It may have stuck out further before. So I had to loosen that up and, 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 uh, and move this closer to it and then tighten it back up. And now it fully depresses and closes. And lo and behold, my cruise control works now when I, not only does it turn on, but when I hit the set button, it actually sets. And when I increase speed or decrease, it all works like it's supposed to. That two cent piece of plastic is what fixed it for me. And that may be all you need. If you have a manual or if you have a, uh, an automatic, you don't have any hole to fill there on the brake. It's, all, it's already metal, but you may just have to adjust this. So this should be the first thing you check if um, you're having cruise control issues where it'll turn on but it will not set. Lastly, if that doesn't fix it, it could very well be your switch itself. And you can get these on Z1 Motor, uh, Z1 Motorsports. I'll put a link in the description. They're expensive. This is probably the most expensive fix, but if your clocks, you know, if those switches should be the first thing you check. That's free. Um, if that doesn't do it, then it may be your clock spring. And you can get, I'll put a link in the description. I got my clock spring for about $45 shipped. Um, it does take, a, you know, an hour or so to put in. You gotta be comfortable taking off the steering wheel, taking out the airbag, of course, unplug your battery and all that. You've got these security uh, screws you'll have to take out, things like that. It's not, it's not hard, it's just time consuming. But anyway, if that doesn't fix it, it could be these. But likely, this won't turn on, your, your light probably won't turn on if it is one of these switches. But if it's not either of those, if it's not the cancel switches and it's not the clock spring, then that's literally the only other thing that it could probably be that I can think of in my experience. So uh, anyway, hopefully it's helpful to somebody out there. Hopefully your issue is as simple as just adjusting one of those buttons down there and making sure that they're closed off when they need to be and open when they need to be. And I hope this helps somebody out there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate the support on the channel. If it was helpful, definitely leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if there's something else that you did for yours um, that worked, definitely let us know in the comments. This is a car community. You know, we want to help each other out, and that's the whole reason I do this channel, is uh, not for monetary gains, but just to share some knowledge out there and hopefully help somebody out there, because YouTube has definitely helped me over the years on so many things, uh, from household repairs and everything else. So just trying to give back. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, guys, one more quick tip I wanted to throw out there because I just uh, found this out recently when I was researching uh, 
parts and, uh, and stuff for the car was that if you have a base model Z, you can actually upgrade it to cruise control. Um, you know, the base models didn't have anything on the steering wheel, no volume control, no cruise control. But you can actually add cruise control now. Uh, Z1 Motorsports has a kit where it gives you everything you need, the steering wheel switches and the cancel switches for the brake and the clutch pedal. Um, so it's a cool thing. I mean, I know not everybody cares about cruise control, um, but, uh, you know, I do because I commute to work. Um, I have a, a long drive to the hospital. It's just a rural highway, and uh, I like to be consistent with my speed. So anyway, uh, I just thought I would throw that out there um, for anybody that was wondering. A long time ago, that wasn't possible. I read that on the, the forums because I almost bought a base Model Z, and that's the reason I didn't. But it's kind of cool to know that if you wanted to add that, you could. So I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. Thanks so much for watching, guys.